Callum Butler, Deptford Green, six, candidate number 6014. This is my evaluation. Firstly, in what way special media products are used to fed up challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Each media product that was constructed, constructed has developed and kept up the forms and conventions of the real product. Horror films and trailers use the same conventions as each other. It relies on the unknown of the curious true identity, lights in, and the male gaze. The first and foremost convention in the trailer is that of the equilibrium, which is when all is perceived as normal, and the disequilibrium, when the antagonist or the possessed first appears which is present in the horror films and trailers. This is, however, is usually shown near the middle of the trailer. We use the convention of hiding the antagonist's face by using the dark settings to help conceal his true identity. Another convention that was used is the so-called true story, which has helped to draw in their target audience as they perceive it to actually be true. Another confession upheld by a youth culture trainer is that of the damsel in distress, the female victim. Also, the horror poster holds up conventions similarly, with, similarly to the devil inside and the orphan and to other horror posters such as the dark background, the, either the victim or the obsessed being in the centre of the poster, and we included further convention by including uh, BBFC, BBFC age rating and uh, rating stars by other um, critics. Also, we added in production studios and we chose to use Ghost House because it predominantly for horror movies. Another convention was the dark and liminal settings and this conventional sense is to hide the killer's identity but also create a confined space where the audience feels isolated and vulnerable. It is also to hide the unknown which scares the audience because of the lack of knowledge it has. We also have included a scene in the trailer where the antagonist is chasing the victim, which you usually see in the trailer halfway through. And we also included challenge in a sort of way by not including a real protagonist. You see some, however, they do not try and save the day, which would be perceived as audiences to give them a lack of hope. How effective is the combination of your main product and auxiliary text? For the Swedes, it had a technological link between the product, main product. So we had to use the same camera, but also we had to use Final Cut Pro, which helped us to how to edit. And it helped us on the filming and the math skills. Also, similarly to Kids Play, it helped us to not just create and edit a piece of work, it also helped us to come up with our own narrative, which is an effective link, since it helped us come up with our plot for the trailer. It also helped us more by making us decide on locations, props and costumes, and it helped us by making us film different camera angles and shots. And the web the web page for the film trailer has increased was a major thing because it helped converge all of our posters, our trailers onto one website. And it also helped us by having all social network links onto it as well. And finally the poster by having the website link the and we had to keep our con continuity with it by having the same style, title and the same colour scheme. 
what have we learned from our audience feedback? Firstly, with the word all, we have gathered information about what audience think. They thought that it was interesting, that it was similar to the to horror movies such as the Flair Wit Project and Paranormal Activity and other interesting things as well. But I've also learned the amount of people who would the amount people have rated the film and as you can see mostly they rated it three stars and above, which is good. And a higher And we have also gathered information about whether they would go and see it. And most people would go and see it. We also gathered if they understood the plot. And even though some did not understand it at all or weren't very sure, most or at least half of the audience gathered the plot very well and understood it. And whereas we also asked them to look at conventions and they have realised and looked for the conventions which were clearly seen in the trailer and the most people recognised was the victim and the uh, antagonist and threat in it. <laughs> How do you use media technologies in construction research and planning? stages. We used a media technology called Final Cut Pro which helped us to create, edit and personalise our own footage. And we added in anything we want such as sound effects, tracks, words and we could use as many effects as we could. We also used laptops to help with the research and planning and the construction of several products such as the poster and a website and blogs. They helped research since we were allowed to watch videos and look at different types of horror posters where we could get inspiration from. We also used a HD camera to help us film the footage for the trailer and to give it a more of a professional look. We also used a tripod which helped us to film steady angles. We used convergence by including the different social media links such as Facebook and Twitter and also the website address. We used Photoshop to help design and create a poster to make it more professional but also to help us understand it better. And Weebly was used to for synergy so you could place everything onto one easy to access website and for audiences to get a better feel for all the work. Thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent. So now we're just going to go to that stage just so we can just further what we pick your brain about a couple of things, aren't we? Do you want to start? Why are we? <laughs> Um, how did you collect your audience feedback? Uh, we collected it by giving them a questionnaire where they had to fill out quantitative and qualitative data. Can you give me an example of some of the questions you might have asked? Um, can you see uh, like, what would you rate this movie out of five stars? Also another one was what convention and conventions or things do you recognise in the film? Mm -hmm. And also would you go see this movie? And did you collect it through multiple choice, through extended answers? Yes, we did. We collected it through basic tick boxes and colouring in, and also where they had to write what they thought about each thing. Uh -huh. And who was your target audience for that? Who did you question? We questioned 11 to 18 year olds. And why was that? Our target audience is 15, but also if more audience, we would want to know what age would most likely go and see it so we can make improvements if it was necessary. And what sort of improvements might you make if it was unsuitable for 15 age range? What would you. What? We would either cut some bits out or add in a bit of a lighting effect to make it a blast to lessen the threat and the darkness of the movie. Mm. 
Okay. Um, with your ancillary text, can you explain when the how the poster and the website are connecting to your film trailer? What the audience expecting? Uh, they're connected through the colour scheme, same font style, and just same everything. And the audience expects to have continuity between them all, so they know it's the same film and it's not a different one. Would you just click on your slide just so I can see it as we're doing Which, it? Well, the, the one about we, um, the ancillary text. Where are you talking about your poster? Thank you. So you're talking about how the audience expects to see the convention, but why does that help them? How does that benefit them? It helps them to realise the genre so they can be prepared for the movie, but also it helps them to make a decision whether they want to go and see it or not. Um, you're talking, how do you think you have managed to conform to uh, the horror or youth trailers in your actual trailer? We have performed to the youth culture by having youth actors or characters who are youth and by saying it in a location where youth people can relate to, which would make it easier to relate to their characters. And what was your setting? The uh, school. Why did you choose the school? So people can identify that as a youth culture, but also to make it even more threatening, saying that a safe place like school can even be used for killing them. Okay, I'm just thinking about some of your conventions you've used. Um, you mentioned very quickly something about genders. Um, I just wonder what gender theory or, or what ideas you've included. The male gaze I've included, which doesn't necessarily object as women, but it also could just be the women just there. So what types of females should we expect in a horror film then? You can expect the damsel in, in distress, the trembling victim, the one who always gets chased about, killed, or the one who's always asking the protagonist for help. And is that present in your film? Yes. Well, not asking for help, but it is clearly present. Could you tell us how you think the web, uh, building of the website and your blog has helped you develop production skills. They have helped the feathers, um, our technological skills because they can be easily transferred to each other. Also it has helped us in making everything the same or it has helped by just technologically. Thank you very much Karen. I'm just